So we're told that n is greater than minus 3 and less than or equal to 1. n is an integer, and we're to write down all the possible values of n. Well, first of all, it's important to realise that n is greater than minus 3, so the lowest value it can take is minus 2. It is less than or equal to minus 1, so the highest value it can take is plus 1. And we have to write out the numbers in between. So the values n can take are minus 2, minus 1, 0 and 1. Now, we solve this inequality, 3p minus 7 is greater than 11. So to solve the inequality, you treat it really rather like an equation, and we want p isolated. So we move the minus 7 from the left-hand side, the minus 7 goes across to the other side and becomes a plus 7, giving me 3p is greater than 11 plus 7. So that gives me 3p is greater than 18. So I'm going to move the 3 now to the other side. That 3 is multiplying p, so it goes to the other side as a divider. So p will be greater than 18 divided by 3, which gives us the final answer that p must be greater than or equal to 6. Now you can check that. You can take a value that's larger than 6, like 7, and see if it works. So if I did 3 times 7 minus 7, would my answer be greater than 11? Well, 3 7s are 21, and 21 takes 7 is 14, and that satisfies the inequality, showing you that the value you've taken is correct.